The European Space Agency spotted one of the biggest icebergs ever seen. So the International Business Times reports that the iceberg is nearly five square miles in size, and it could, quote, cover Manhattan by a layer of ice about 300 meters thick. Not even really sure how that's possible, but that's what they say. And uh, lucky for us, it just broke off of a glacier in Greenland. Wonderful! Let's have more of this happen. So there was a, a similar story to this uh, in 2013, where another gigantic iceberg broke off of a glacier, and that was problematic back then. This is problematic now. So we have that awesome story for you, but then we also have this. Quote, Last week, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration issued a dire report about the state of the planet. July 2015 was the Earth's warmest month on record. Let me repeat that. July 2015 was the Earth's warmest month on record, dating back to 1880. And the cherry on top, they say, from the morning of August 20th through Sunday evening, the fact that the month we just had endured was the hottest on record was mentioned on major cable news networks all of 10 times. To put that in perspective, the name Donald Trump was mentioned more than 245 times on MSNBC, more than 265 times on CNN, and more than 240 times on Fox News. Fucking Donald Trump, man. Isn't this wild? Now, don't get me wrong. Am I saying, you should you not cover Donald Trump? No, of course you should cover Donald Trump. I cover Donald Trump quite a bit. He is a phenomenon. He is somebody who's crazy, and he has a fucking meerkat on his head, and he's doing incredibly well in the polls, and it's a scary thing that he might be able to run America. Of course you cover Donald Trump. But, if you're a serious news organization, you're also supposed to cover, I don't know, the fact that the climate is being absolutely destroyed, and there's a good chance we've already gone past the point of no return? I mean, what the fuck is it going to take to get more coverage on this? Uh, we've discussed how wildfires now are significantly more powerful and they last longer and they cover a much bigger area of space uh, than they did going back 10 years or 20 years or 30 years. There's increased extreme weather events. You know, people like to mock mock the idea of global warming when it snowed quite a bit in certain places, but what they don't understand is that that's actually why people stop using the term global warming and they move to climate change because climate change is a more accurate term because it just means across the board more extreme weather events, including, you know, random gigantic blizzards that throw off the climate and it's not what you expect. I mean, look at the drought in California, for example. That's fucking extreme. The, the drought is at a ridiculous level right now to the point where there's water restrictions and stuff like that. It's What I'm trying to get, get through and what I'm trying to impress upon you guys is that this is not a problem that's happening at some, you know, date in the future that we don't know of yet. That's not what climate change is. Climate change is occurring right now. And the funny thing is, people like to point to sea level rise as like, oh my god... That's the worst thing, and let's talk about that. Now, that is bad, of course, don't get me wrong. It affects some major cities, and that's a serious issue that we need to address. But I actually think that's, like, the least convincing argument to people who don't necessarily believe in climate science, uh, where they hear that, and they're like, so what, the sea level rises, end? <laughs> that's why I need everybody to, to make the better arguments, the more convincing arguments, the arguments that are present a bigger problem. Like, for example, in the Midwest, a lot of places get their water from snow caps on mountaintops. What happens when there's no more fucking snow caps on mountaintops? Where are you going to get your water from? And people say, well, there's underground reservoirs, they could use those. Except, because of the Halliburton loophole, as it's called, uh, fracking companies are exempt from the Clean Water and Clean Air Act, so they've been dumping all their disgusting carcinogenic chemicals in that water for an extended period of time now. So you can't get the water from the underground reservoirs, you can't get it from the snow-capped mountaintops, where the fuck are you going to get your water from, tough guy? It's stuff like that that should have you concerned. Uh, you know, standard food products doubling in price, tripling in price. Uh, mass migrations from certain areas that are uninhabitable now as a result of climate change. Wars over resources and stuff like that. I say that as if we haven't already waged many wars over resources, but you get the point, man. The point is, this is going to absolutely positively disrupt the way societies function and the way human beings can act. 
and it's going to lead to instability. And if you're fiscal conservative, it's going to cost trillions of dollars in the long run to, you know, try to clean up the mess and fix the problem and all that stuff. And at this point, we just fucking close our eyes and stick our head in the sand because ExxonMobil pumps out their propaganda on the mainstream media networks and they pay the politicians so the politicians drag their feet on real fundamental systemic reform where we can get off of fossil fuels and move towards green technology. So it's time to wake the fuck up, man. You know, they're saying, hey, we have a, a an ice sheet here. We have an iceberg. That's bigger than Manhattan that just broke off. Hello, wake up. We got a problem here. Hello, it was just the hottest month on record. It just happened right now. Can we talk about this? So we do. We all need to talk about it. We all need to cover it. We all need to spread the word. And we all need to put pressure on politicians to act on this. Because if we don't, for fuck's sake, man, our great-great-grandkids, if they are alive, are going to fucking hate us for what we did. And they'll be right to.